Hey guys, what's up? This video is just to show you guys how to get the minimap working for the Draenor patch. Uh, naturally, you're going to need a Draenor installed for this to work because you have to uh, pull files from it. All right. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm not going to like give everything out for free or not, not necessarily for free, but you know, just openly give stuff out because I think uh, people might feel a greater appreciation for things if they had to do some of the work themselves and this is one of those cases. So uh, yeah, anyway, good luck and it should be pretty easy for y'all, alright? Um, I used Excel, but uh, most people don't have Excel, but there are alternatives out, uh, out there. Um, besides, my, um, Microsoft gives out a trial for Excel anyway, so if you gotta use it and don't have it, just get the, the trial. Alrighty, later, bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? Anyway, this tutorial is for this this guy. He wanted a, a, a mini map tutorial for the general patch. So uh, yeah. Anyway, you'll need. I'm 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 gonna use Excel, and uh, you're going to need um, Draenor installed naturally. All right. So if you guys don't have the the Draenor uh, Cask uh, extractor type of tools yet, uh, I would recommend using Tom Russ's tool. This uh, Cask Explorer. All right, uh, link in, in link in the description for everything I'm gonna be using except for like Excel and shit like that. But uh, yeah, so first thing you wanna do is just go into your data folder and uh, open up the, your uh, patch three, and then go into your textures folder, and then your mini map, and then extract this MD5 out to a make make a. I'll just use the patch that I used before. All right, uh, and uh, just put it into into, uh, into there. All right, um, I made the patch five in my initial general patch tutorial, how to install video. So that's where that's from, all right? Anyway, so i uh, close that out. <clears throat> and uh, if you have your own custom uh, patches that that uh, that have their own MD5 translates al already, use that one. Don't grab the Red Lich King one because you'll overwrite any custom maps you may already have and such, all right? And then uh, just leave that for now. Okay. Now, the next thing you, uh, you next thing you want to do is uh, extract the mini maps from the Draenor inst uh, installation. So I'll use uh, Cast Explorer. Uh, easy setup. Just um, just download it, extract it somewhere. Open this up in Notepad Plus Plus or something, and just set your. Uh, Make sure it's a full, complete install of the game. Make sure it's, it's not like a partial install. If it's a full install, uh, turn the online mode to, uh, to false. All right, uh, by default, it's set to true. And uh, by true, it means that every single time you try to uh, download something, it's gonna download it from the internet and so on. So uh, one, that takes a long time. But the, but the second thing is you usually always get the most up-to-date file, whereas you're Home instance installation may not be the most up to, up to date, but it takes a long time, especially if you have to do a lot of files. And uh, so I leave it off. And yeah, and then then set your uh, your uh, your inst inst uh, installation of of your Adrenor uh, and such. All right, that's it. So so uh, let's see. Open this up, and then we're gonna go to uh, let's see, world, then mini maps, and then Drenor. Right here. Extract. Um, extract this to a folder that I will make right now. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Lots of thought. Okay. So right there. One, two, three, five. Okay. Okay. Close this up. Don't need that no more. So from here, uh, let's see. I want to. All the file names are named as a map. Blah blah. blah. So what you gotta do, which is kind of weird, but that's just how the shit works, is uh, go into this mini map, and um, and let's see, what's, this is all freestyle. I do it differently every single time I do it. So op uh, open it up in the text text uh, editor, and then um, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, copy this. So I'll just put it on top. Doesn't matter. And uh, the way how it works is. Um, this is your actual file name for the uh, for the map, and then this is the generic value for um, for uh, what uh, for the, for the client how to read the um, the, um, the BLPs, and so you follow that format. 
So in here is the maps, blah, blah. They can't be named map. I have to name them something else because that's just, because in Wrath of Lich King, you can't separate your mini maps uh, by folder. So you have to rename them. If you don't, you're going to overwrite stuff. So yeah, so um, I'm going to open up CMD in here. Hold shift inside the window, right click, open up window here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a text file of all the, uh, of all the file names. So I'm going to do a dir slash a hyphen d slash b slash s and then I put a z1.txt. All right, and then uh, right here I'll have uh, let's see, take that off. I'll, I'll have all the BLPs in, in that uh, directory. From here, I want to modify a little bit. I want to use Excel as well because it just makes things a little faster for me. All right, so I want to just take these out. And uh, and replace with nothing. All right, so that so this will basically be my first part. But notice how they're all separated with tabs. All right, so I have to put tabs in, and 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 then after the tab is the new file name. So that's why I'm using Excel because it makes it easier. All right, do that. This one here, and then from here I will use a program called Bulk Rename Utility. You can use any renames program style you want it's up to you i'm just using this because that's what i use all the time all right and uh yeah so from within here go into here copy the address of this directory go to actions go to jump to path paste that in i hit okay i select everything control a and then um just look for it's just do a search re uh, replace so I'm, I'm gonna do map then draenor for my replace all right so that's how it's uh, gonna be named do a rename okay okay and then uh that's it all right so now i want to rerun this command again and i change the output file to z2 and i think i'll modify the beginning of it just to you know uh look for only B uh, uh, blp all right and then there so there's that and then I want to do the same thing. Just since I already have it set, I just have to hit replace all, and it does the same thing. But we don't need the Draenor part either, so I'm gonna undo that and just uh, just add, just select that as well, and then uh, replace all. All right. So what I did there, if you don't know, if I, sh I should have all all the keys captioning, I think, but I think it it only shows some. But I just select from here, control F or find, it'll put into this box, go replace, there's nothing there, hit replace all, you, uh, you get that. From here I just copy this, go to Excel and paste, oops, paste this in, and just make sure, just do a quick look, make sure they all line up, whatever, all right? And uh, 1423, 1423, so on and so forth. So just select anything, just uh, do, uh, do a control A to select all, copy this, and then go into the, the um, the MD5 translate and un and this thing is be uh, general for the uh, directory down here just paste this in and as you can see it's uh, set up the same way all right w when you paste you may have an extra space take that out but uh, yeah so that's pretty much the idea of it that's that's all you gotta do all right so uh, save this out and then from within this texture folder wherever that's at that, that has the MD5 translate from here you'll put that put the renamed uh, mini maps inside of here. All right, let that go and then I'll just restart the game and I should be good. All right, there you go, mini maps. So that's how you would do mini maps for Draenor and whatever else, whatever else custom ports you may do. Um, but yeah, so there you go, later.